Hi everyone, Nicholas Buffy this here from Sunny Cyprus and welcome to today's tutorial. It's been a while since I made a tutorial, but I've got so many Windows 11 users complaining about the show more options context menu. So one that you can see right over here. So this, this one here, the one nearest to me here, this is the full context menu. And if we look to the one over there on the other side, highlighted in that yellow box, we can see the show more options. If you want to do something simple like refresh your screen, or simply archive something, you've got to go through the process of right clicking, clicking on show more options, and then choosing the item you want. Now, I'm gonna show you two ways. There's plenty of tutorials on the internet about modifying the registry of Windows, so you get a permanent fix, so when you right click, you see the full context menu. But I'm gonna show you an even easier method where you don't have to do absolutely anything. Now, any files, any code that I refer to is included in the description below, and while you're here you might as well click like and subscribe and let's get started with a really easy solution to this problem okay so here i've got a folder open we can see i've got some items folders uh shortcuts and files i'm going to right click in this area basically to try and uh, refresh so if i right click i see i get my context menu i've got the show more options the really annoying show more options i need to click on that and then find the refresh button and if I try right click on absolutely anything, whether it's a folder, I get to show more options, uh, whether it's a shortcut again, whether it's a file, even on my desktop, if I right click here, I see these show more options. If I want to see the full context menu, I need to click on this. And that's really annoying. So here's the trick, guys. The really simple method is this. Simply hold down the shift button. Before you right click on anything, hold the shift button down. So I've got the shift button pressed now. And if I right click here, Look at that, I get the full context menu, there's my refresh directly. And if I do this on anything, so if I hold the shift button down and right click on my folder, I see the full context menu. Again, right click on, on the desktop while holding the shift button, I get the full context menu. That's it. If you like this solution, this is a solution I use because I've got one hand usually on the keyboard anyway. It's a really, really simple, practical solution. So if you do like this method, you don't need to watch the rest of the video. So let's go have a look at modifying the registry. Okay, for this method, you're gonna need two lines of code. Well, essentially you only need one. You're going to need this one here so you can permanently change your registry. Well, permanently, it's not permanent, but to change your registry so you don't see the show more options again. And then this line here, if you ever want to enable it so you do see the show more options again. And I'm going to explain exactly what these codes do. So basically to be able to implement this, you need to first of all, copy this line. So I'm just going to right click and copy that. And I've simply copied this code. Now this code, both of these lines as they are, they're in the description of this video. So you don't need to search for them. Use these ones because they're working. They're guaranteed to work and I'm going to demonstrate them now. So the next thing you need to do is to open an elevated command prompt. Now to do this, I'm going to click on the Windows icon. I'm going to type CMD. I can see here my command prompt. Before I open it though, I'm going to right click and choose run as administrator okay and i'm going to paste here it is here i'm going to paste this code here and to paste it you can either press ctrl or just right click and there's my code okay now before i actually enter this i'm going to show you exactly what this code is going to do so i'm also going to open up the registry reg edit you don't need to do this i'm just doing this so you can uh, see exactly what this code is going to do so the HKU part of this, HKCU, is basically the, the H key current user. You could change it for all users, but that's entirely up to you. Let me just size this window very quickly. And then I'm going to go to software, classes. And under classes, I'm going to go to class ID. Let's see, there it is there. Okay, and we can see these keys here. Now, so what we're doing up here in this code, you can see we've gone to software, classes, class ID. It's going to create this registry key here or that folder there. You can see it ends in E2A2 and then it creates this little subfolder. And we can see here that this E2A2 key does not exist. Now, as soon as I run this code here, so I'm gonna have that parallel, Going to press enter there you go the operation completed successfully now if i look here it should actually so i'm going to just refresh i'm going to go to this one here close that 
open that again and let's see if that e2 a2 key is there no all right so let's close registry just run that again so it actually loads it up and class id there it is there can you see it's created it and inside there it's actually added this folder and it's got the little default empty thing here okay so what that has done is actually created that key there and it's also added that folder there and that's all you have to do now to make sure this works all you have to do now is just restart your computer and the context menu has gone whenever you right click on something you will see the full context menu now if you ever change your mind and you want that key to come back you want that show more options to come back then all you have to do is either go to the registry and delete this thing here or simply use this code here so i'm going to copy this you can see this is to delete a registry i'm going to go again to an elevated command prompt so cmd i'm going to right click run as administrator so what i'm going to i'm going to copy paste that there now i want you to notice something because um if you have a space after the code as you can see i've got a little space here if you try and run this and i wanted to demonstrate this so if you do get this error message you know what's causing it if i press that you can see i've got an error invalid syntax so i'm just going to do that again so i'll just use the up arrow to paste the same thing and i'm just going to click it and just go backspace one to get rid of that little space from there now when i press enter there we go and if i close my registry so we can see we're looking at that e2 a2 folder if i close the registry and open it again we will see that that e2 a2 folder has now gone and that would mean you get your show more options context menu back that's it that's as simple as it gets all right so if you like this video you found this useful if you were really getting annoyed with the show more options and you found the solution personally i prefer using the shift it's just really easy to do but if you do like any one of these two methods make sure you like make sure you subscribe i'll see you again in the next video take care bye bye